Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We've been having some really weird weather, so I wanted to go take you with us to feed the animals so we can show you what's been going on. Just got to show off our temperamental weather. It is January 31st. And I have a little bit of snow there. And a little bit of snow over here. Oh, but for the most part, it decided it was going to up and be 50 degrees for a week. So, a lot of our snow is melted, and it's only January 31st. Usually, we have snow at least until March. So, very unusual for Idaho. Very crazy, but I'll take it. The only bad thing is now everything is super muddy, which isn't bad for me, but the goats and the dogs sure get muddy. Come on guys, let's go feed ya. They're out here in the sunshine, enjoying it so much. Your friend is missing you, Reg. Let's go check our eggs. And all the chickens are enjoying some yard time. A few of the brave ones are out here eating some snow. Two here, two here, and one there. So I've been getting two all winter, but now I have, looks like three more birds are starting to lay for me. So that is fantastic. So there's my black copper moran. And I believe this one might be one of the cream leg bars. And then there's one of my olive acres that I bred compared to one of my sapphire gems. And this is either a sapphire gem or a Bielefelder. Maverick sure does love the snow. It's fading away. This is supposed to be a warmer year, I think, for us because of the El Nino. But I don't ever remember really what that stuff means other than some winters last forever and other times you get a false spring in January. We'll see if this spring lasts or if we get more snow because they keep predicting more snow and then we get rain. So I don't know. <laughs> the jury's still out. All right, you guys ready for this? Remember that early spring we were having? Well, it is over now. <laughs> this is your typical Idaho back and forth weather. 50 degrees at the end of January, and now it's winter again. So, 
we'll probably get several of these spring storms um, until it actually finally warms up and then it's just rain from then on. But yeah, we'll still keep getting a bunch of snow for the next little while. All right, let's hurry up and get these animals fed before we both freeze to death. We grabbed some more chicken food, so we gotta grab that out of the car first. I've showed this off before, but we like to mix scratch grains in with our feed. Um, we just find it gives them a little extra boost, especially in the winter time. Um, if I'm gonna stop doing it, I usually will stop doing it during the summer. But I also find that when you introduce scratch grains, sometimes the chickens will just eat the scratch grain out of your feed. So keeping it in their food all the time helps minimize waste because then they're eating all of the feed pellets included because they're used to being like this. This is the bad thing about our spring snow is it's always really heavy. So if we're going to get broken trees, it's going to be in the springtime. And it's even worse when we get snow like this after our trees have leafed out because then you'll always have broken branches. So it's something we have to watch for our springtime snow. All right, let's see how these goats like this winter weather. <laughs> Maverick loves it. So this year, our goats aren't due until May. We were a month behind when we brought our buck in. So um, these fat bellies, they got a while yet. So May is when we'll be expecting our kidding videos um, to start coming out. So be watching for those. And since last year, our snow 
stuck around for a really long time. So we're hoping that these little spring storms that we're getting are short lived, that our um, spring can come a little earlier um, because it's just kind of hard to get kidding season underway and births and baby goats when it's super cold. Um, but we still like to do it in the cooler weather because then the kids have less parasite and other issues. But our temperatures never really get hot enough to have a super bad time with um, like parasites and things. And so that's kind of one of the reasons we bred a little later this year. Um, and we'll just kind of see how that goes. All right, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for joining us. Um, we are a little bit behind on our videos. We have a lot that we need to be putting out for you guys. So be watching for those videos to be coming out shortly. And we'll see you all in the next one.